Hi, Zev Bagel here. I'm very happy to be uh, reciting a few poems of mine for the Adikal. And thank you, Kayla, for the invitation. Great initiative. Sorry we can't all be together sitting around, say la vie, rubbing shoulders, drinking wine, but here we are. Fill up a glass. So a few poems, uh, some of which are pretty recent. This one, for example, uh, very recent. As you can imagine, over the last uh, month I wrote this. It's called Universa Interruptus, which is very pig Latin. Hello, I'm Corona, and I'm 19. I'd like to know you better. Get up close. Share some nasal fluids, a sneeze or two. I just love humans. Their predictability, their fragility, habits, lust for life, each other, and the stuff they never need. I'm here to stop you in your tracks, to teach you patience, slowing down, the value of the little things and who you are. And that other one, so rare in humankind, humility. A word so like human, so unlike humans. See how big I am? Of course you can't. Count how many I've become. Too many for your brain. I'll cut you down to size. I'll show what power is in one so small. You say that I'm your enemy. You see this as a war. And yet it's you who gives me life. You are my host. And I'm so grateful for your help. Keep living life the way you do, and I will thrive while you may fret. Or learn patience, humility, the value of small things, and I will turn away. This one I, I wrote uh, about five years ago, and very sadly I could have written it last week. I hope never to have to write it again. It's called Another One Down. You can choke when you're black and playing in the street or scowling. Bullets might pierce that skin when fingers so unlike your own squeeze triggers, ending lives less valued. Uniforms trump the permanency of human hide when covering white. A good friend of mine died at the end of last year, 2019, and uh, I was honoured to be present at his passing, um, which he'd arranged after having cancer for some time. Uh, Bob was a peace educator, and he worked on that for many years, all the time I'd known him anyway, first in Calgary and then later on here in Shediac, where it just so happened, who knows how, he turned up to be almost my neighbour. It's called Bob Teaches Peace. You looked like the Mahatma. Lying there, the white scarf given you by the Dalai Lama, draped around your bare shoulders. The small, round face, smooth now without the pain. Your faint smile completing the Gandhi image. Your hand grasped mine like a newborn babe, instinctive, fearless, full of strength. You'd spent the morning dispensing instructions from your hospital bed, signing books, making arrangements, making jokes. Your final hour, surrounded by your wife, your children, and we, your friends. We shared with you our love. You ate an ice cream. 
This will take me 20 minutes, you said, and then they'll shoot me up. Your phone beeped. Your daughter answered. It was the dentist. Cancel the appointment, you said. We laughed, amazed at your presence, your peace, your love, the light that flowed. A nurse wheeled in the trolley. The doctor, no older than my grandchildren, unwrapped the first capsule, held your hand, leaned over, whispered words. You drifted into sleep. The second vial, the third and fourth. A silent, peaceful 15 minutes. You'd ask for silence while you drifted off, clear and certain that your lifetime goal has been fulfilled. For love and light will show the way as you have done to peace at last. And my last one, written I guess a couple of years ago now, is called Dear Terrorist. We are many. We live in castles and caves, dakas and ditches. We come from deserts and jungles, cities and hamlets. We are more than you can imagine. We do not meet. You will not find us in church or mosque or temple, or if you do, we are disguised. We belong nowhere and everywhere. We are wealthy beyond your dreams, even the paupers among us, and there are many. Our Twitter account is empty. No friends on Facebook. All we need to know lies within. All we need to have is here. We have no fear. We are not feared. We love and may be loved. It does not matter. Each of us is alone. None of us are lonely. And you, dear terrorist, believe in God. You aim to kill and maim and conquer so that you may enter heaven. Have I got news for you? We are the ordinary, the extraordinary people. You cannot join us even if you chose. We are not joinable. We are individual. The odds are overwhelming. Thank you. And bye.